Tone Cardi, yeah, match the nails, ho. No competition, these bitches stay at home. Curbing, no curbing, my shit is layers, ho. Say they get money, but I can't tell. <gasps> what the fuck? Okay, now I look like a clown. Welcome to my life. Hey Chi Chi's, it's your girl Quitachi. Welcome to a new vlog. Happy Saturday day, okay? Happy Saturday. So right now it's 3, 4 p.m. and I'm going to do my nails because I just want them done, okay? And yeah, I'm wearing a hoodie today. Let me bring you guys down so you see what your girl is wearing today. A hoodie, biker shorts. Hey, you are. <laughs> guys today i'm choosing to wear um hoodie because of this scar that i have here yeah when mosquito bites me this is what it turns into guys it's crazy like this is the scar that i get whenever mosquito bites me there's some white people chicken ass shit <laughs> it's like some weak ass shit for real since i was a kid so whenever i get mosquito bites it becomes like a blister kind of vibe like gets red it gets when i don't know where i got the bites from actually not only mosquitoes so it could be like something else i don't know because i've not been anywhere that mosquitoes are there like come on like where am i going so yeah i don't know what bit me but yeah i have this redness like big ass redness and i don't want it to get irritated so i'm choosing to wear this so that it's all covered i want my skin's shirt under it so that you know like so that it doesn't look bland and you know like ugly like it's literally hanging in my neck and shit yeah so yeah i'm holding this bag that i wore last week do you remember the compact bag that I, you know i'm so attached to this bag you guys i'm so attached to this bag like i'm never able to let it go guys and i want to wear these shades hold on with it do you think it's gonna look cute or i should take it off hmm? do you think it's cute oh god i hate wearing sweatshirts because i feel like hoodies is it hoodies or sweatshirts whatever i feel like they make me look so fat like yeah but yeah this is the fit like i don't know if you guys like it with the shades or like without the shades comment down below what which one would you have chosen is it cute with the shades? This is the fit. And I'm so bloated, guys. My green tea is out. When we come back, we are going to order some. Yeah. And I'm wearing slippers with it. So I'm going to do my toes and I'm going to um, do my nails as well. And with today's scent, we are going to do um, Cartier. I like this perfume a lot. It's so strong. Today, I want to smell like a man. <laughs> Not like a man, but I want to smell like really, really oody and like musk and all that yeah mask as in like not musky but like masculine you know <laughs> yeah a little like boss ass bitch period and i'm going to do bulgari man so yeah in black bulgari and i'm going to do mes dior for a little bit of sweetness okay so yeah it's gonna be some hard combo but let's try it together <laughs> let me spray my mes dior first what the fuck? That's what talking a lot gets me. Guys, I sprayed it into my eyes. What the fuck? Not this being the first scene of this shit, bro. Today is Thursday and I'm opening up this fucking vlog. And what the fuck? Okay, now my day is ruined. God, my eyes are going to become red soon. I'm too sensitive for this type of shit. What the fuck? Jeez. Fuck. Hey, I'm f I fucked up big time. Hey, fuck up. This is such a big fuck up. Oh god, I hope I don't have a bad day because of this thing. Hey, no way. It entered my eye like crazy, like straight into my eye. What the fuck? I was talking too much and I was moving my head too much. So yes, we are going to. Oh god, this hurts. We are going to do Miss Dior and the Bulgari. I don't do like too much. You guys know that I spray my feet. <laughs> I do. And the Cartier. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like this perfume. I thought it, you know, when I first opened it, it wasn't my vibe, but I've grown into it. Like, I I like it actually. You smell like 
a sexy date night like just overall like really really sexy it smells so sexy it's like i have a cold now oh i've been sniffing since and i'm going to wear two of my favorite lip glosses period Add a little bit of Laneige, period. Oh god, I hope my eyes don't get red. I don't have an eye drop to right now. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you guys. Guys, can you believe that yesterday was Wednesday? Just like last week Wednesday when they took my lights and I wasn't able to do my nails. And you know what's funny? Yesterday I wanted to go do my nails. Wednesday they took the light in the morning and brought it back at 4 p.m. This time not even 8 p.m. 4 p.m. So well, thank god. Guys. What the fuck? Hey, like when did this start? It's like routine now. It's like Wednesdays, I, 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 it's either I'm not here or like I cancel all my plans. Yeesh, they took the whole day away from me. They took the whole day away from me. And when we come back, I want to call the washing lady so she comes to wash for me because all my clothes are dirty, like literally all my clothes. And when we come back, we will also um, soak our bare sheets and like things the white stuff in case like she can come on friday which is tomorrow and saturday that i'm going to post this video hopefully i even get content for this this week's vlog because my whole this thing my whole week you know it's been like occupied jibab and yeah we're going to so i need to buy bleach from like a supermarket or something so after i do my nails i need to pass by one of these supermarkets and like get bleach so that we can use to soak our stuff i'm going to use the washing machine to wash them because i usually use the washing machine to wash them jib up i need to brush this hair one more time i love straight hair because of the simplicity but it doesn't really complement my face like that. It doesn't look good on me as much as Kelly head. Yeah, I smell so delicious. Alright, I'm gonna see you guys. Bye. I took the shades off because you know when you're wearing shades, it's very very dangerous because you really can't see yourself. You really need somebody else's perspective. I feel like it's too matchy matchy, so I took it off. It's still matchy matchy. If I was wearing black biker shorts, it would have like been a better choice. But mm -mm. I look too matchy matchy. I'm on my way, so I'll see you guys when I get there. Mm -hmm. I want to try something new today, okay? But I'm the girl that, like, I always want to try something new when I'm going to do my nails. And then as soon as I sit there and I see, like, what's going on, I just... I'm like, you know what? Please give me my usual French tips. Da -da 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 -da. Then we are done. Like, I don't want anything long. But this one, it's also French tip, but it's almond. And it's a little long. I want to do that. I want to try that guys. I hope the next time you guys see me now I've not done my square short French tips. I know you guys are going to beat me like, Everybody, you know, they always comment and things on my YouTube No, not on my YouTube on my snap and on TikTok that I should try something new like why? And so someone was like, why is it that I like wearing biker shorts? Like, I should change it. They want to see me something different. You guys, it's not that simple, okay? When you, when you are giving me the dresses, then you add the a slender body and like the Coca-Cola curves and things to it, okay? Like, bro, I'm built like an eight-year-old kid. Let me be. When I do my body, then yeah. Guys, do you know that? Hmm. Me, I know I'll do my, I, I don't know. I don't know yet, okay, I don't know. I think I want to do my body, but I feel like God will make an example out of me. And I'm too young, bro. Like, I'm like, what, 21? Like, I've been wanting to do my body since, like, I, what, 17? <laughs> Can you imagine? I was just a baby, bro. Like, seriously. Like, I want to really do my body, but I'm scared. Like, I feel like God will make an example out of me. So, like, I'm holding back. But I feel like one day when I'm going to get so confident and I'm going to, and I want to do it, I want to do it with this person that's not even in Ghana. So, like, <gasps> y'all. I need to be like mentally prepared and like all of that. It takes a lot. I feel like 
it's some serious therapy you need to go through before you make that decision because apparently it's like a very very dangerous this thing you have so like you need to really really think it through but guys hopefully right when we get there and we are going to do our nails we don't say please we want the usual the square nails and the short ass nails with the slim french tips and things i want to do these almond french tips with like the curve like right it's gonna look so cute i feel like it's gonna look so cute on me but i'm scared what if i'm not able to use my hands it's too long for me like i've been doing i've been doing these type of nails for the longest time like years and i have to switch it up guys i'm literally gonna die I'm gonna die. I feel like I'll look so like I'll be doing this. See you guys. And your nails are longer you do. Charlie, I'm showing you an angle from my chin up. Charlie, what's wrong with me? I'll look far. What the fuck? I'm on my way, so I'll see you guys when I get there. So guys, I'm here at Lynette and they are busy right now. Busy right now, so they told me that I'm gonna have to wait for like 15, 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 to 15 minutes. So I've come back into the car to come wait. I like I don't want to sit there. The only seats left at like the entrance. I'm gonna feel awkward there. So wait. I want to wait in the car instead. So yeah, let's wait. When they are done, we go inside like 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm back home right now and I have a lot to share okay so i'm so ashamed <laughs> i'm so ashamed i actually got back not long ago i'm ashamed because duh <laughs> we didn't do what we promised we would do see i did my usual my usual nails and guys the nail tech that i i did my nails with today uh at lynette she explained so much she explained so many technicalities of nails to me like she explained what well, you know apparently this entire time i wasn't even doing builder gel you know this entire time i actually wasn't doing builder gel i was doing i've forgotten the name she gave it but like she mentioned the name for it okay so i was doing stick on and i was doing like extension right and i'll put like the gel on it and like just put the tips but this time she fused it into so the gel builder apparently it touches your actual nail then they add like an extension to the tip and oh my god guys i like this so much because it's so flat it's flatter than usually like it's flatter than i usually get and this is like the prettiest thing ever and she also was talking to me about how like if i keep doing this like my nail will actually grow like my cuticle and my nail bed like she was oh my god and i like the way she shapes the cuticle like I love it okay i i love it so so much she's so nice everybody in that salon is actually so so sweet for real like everyone is so sweet um, and i'm so hungry guys i've not eaten since morning like i've not eaten so on my way back i bought the bleach that i said i would because tomorrow is too late right now right now it's like what i left at three something p.m i don't really remember the time that i told you guys i was leaving but it's 9 18 p.m right now like it's that late guys don't mind the bottles in the background <laughs> let me breathe and talk because i'm blabbering and i'm doing too much okay i'm very hungry it's 9 18 p.m right now i don't remember the time that i was leaving like i don't really remember but i'm sure it was like three something right i don't know like correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> so i got salad and things on my way back I got salad and I want some kabo in my body because I'm not eating kabo in a really really long time. I mean this is kabo, but I'm not going to eat a hand jibab. So yeah. Oh my god, this is so good. I'm eating Doritos. It's not like my favorite chips. My favorite chips is Cheetos for uh wow. I bought tea bread from a local vendor and I bought my salad from the salad place that I usually buy my salad from. And I want to put, I want to cut a little bit of the tea bread and then like put some salad in there and eat. And I feel like that would make me so full. Like the salad alone won't cut it this evening because I've not eaten since morning. I'm so hungry. The electrician that I, do you remember last week's vlog? I was talking to Habib and I, I told him about how, one second guys, <laughs> about how this electrician said he could fix it. My two, um, my two coffee machines guys he was able to fix the first one the first one that blew he was able to fix it first and then today just today i went for the second one the one that wasn't coming at all oh my god 
Ghanaian artisans are actually like they're doing something i swear because that's like that's such great news honestly i had zero zero hope zero hope in him i thought he was just one of those people because I, I you know i used to have a keurig and it was the same issue it blew because i didn't know that i was supposed to plug it with a step down but it doesn't have something in it so like it blew but this one even if you plug it without the step down it won't blow jibab so that's why it did not blow when i plugged it when i tried the first time like the very first time that i bought a jibab the keurig it blew i gave it to my security guard to go and fix it for me he comes back he was coming back every single day asking for new money and then they ended up not fixing it so yeah i didn't have any hope i thought it was going to be like the first one now so yeah i forgot about it guys he has been able to fix both both but then the first one has some sound being it i feel like it's louder than it usually is or oh, i'm bagging like or maybe it's because i've not brewed coffee in a very long time yeah i'm so hungry right now like too hungry if i sit here too long i'm going to end up like finishing this whole bag of chips so so guys i'm in the kitchen right now but first of all i want us to install this thing so that i don't forget in this week's vlog too the led lights under the cabinet hopefully it doesn't look tacky or ugly there because i feel like i can really see my um under cabinet because i made them lift it i don't like short under cabinets i made them lift it to like the unusual i say i made them take it so high so yes this is it and i need to move the fridge plug it behind and then there's this little hole that they created hopefully it's even able to fit yeah this is the remote all right there's no free socket here there's no free socket in the back i thought they created an outlet for it uh, what else is plugged there and uh, the stove the stove and then the and the oven so guys now i've plugged the ticky like i've removed one of the things i think i removed the stove because i don't even use the igniter anyway so yeah i've removed the stove like the electrical igniter i usually use my um this thing uh my lighter instead you have so it's not that necessary maybe like when i go out one of these days i'll buy like a multi-socket so that i plug and like re-plug it and yeah they'll share the same socket i have an issue okay my hood my kitchen hood it hits the wall i told you guys that i have plenty issues with a carpenter the person that did my kitchen right so that's one of the issues that i had because why the fuck would you put this on top guys you don't understand like this man literally made the hood hood filters touch the backsplash like the background can you imagine who even does that because he they fix the hood and everything before he put the background so now it's covering some parts of it like maybe like half an inch and so because of that it's not going to hit the wall or anything like that so it's going to be on top of the filter that is my issue but hopefully like i don't make it stick and like it doesn't dangle either because i don't want it to dance on me jubab like i'll be so pissed i'll end up removing it pretty wow oh, fuck. okay 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 looks so tacky here oh no, no. i need my chair Okay, then now, now too, I'm too tall. Charlie, can't even have a sweet spot. I'm gonna ask me to find out. <laughs> okay, let me turn it on and see how it, it gives so far. Ew, this shit looks tacky. I'll turn off the lights and see something. Hold on, let's change the color. Cause yo 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 whoa hold on nah bruh I think I need to connect it to my Alexa it's making wires run around my kitchen and like I don't like wires I wish it was hiding like guys tell me is it nice <laughs> if it's not I promise I'm gonna take it off no Telling me, yeah, it's not with the vibes, but you know, let me change it to the purple. Still not with the vibes, but we'll take it like that. Shall we? 
Wow, it's like a lot today. Oh. The lettuce was a little bit more today. Plenty lettuce in the back. If I take a whole lot, I won't be able to finish it. Because I'm really not in the salad mood. But I'm trying to eat bread accompanied by something a little bit healthy so that I don't feel bad. So I'm going to take this much bread. I think I'm going to add a little. Let me add my cream. A little bit of cream to it. Let me heat it a little bit. Like 30 seconds heating. Let me fill it with some. A little bit. Yeah, this is so good. Guys, this is going to be the sad evening meal, okay? This is how the light is supposed to look. You see the way the heat, like the way it's not showing completely. This is how it's supposed to look. By well, 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 well. Okay, Chi Chi's. See you tomorrow. I love you so much. Bye. Good night. So, guys, it's like 4 34 p.m. right now, and it's a Friday, and tomorrow is posting day. And I've not gotten, like, I've not got enough content for you guys because you guys know that I started a vlog yesterday. And, hmm. So, the reason we are starting the vlog at this time today. Is because I went out in the morning to do some rounds and I I had an encounter with Ghana police okay about like some whole this thing and they wasted my time well we are starting at I woke up like long time ago long time ago like I wanted to start the vlog around like 12 11 a.m. like 12 p.m. 11 a.m. 10 a.m. thereabouts because I went out like really really early thinking I could come back before like 12 but well 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 so i've not even eaten i'm not coming to eat my breakfast but then guys before i show you guys what i'm going to eat i have some chanel to show y'all i've already unboxed it for tiktok so yeah it's already open so this was the box that it was shipped in it was shipped to the us address and yes oh god i'm making a mess this so freaking pretty i know right the packaging is so cute uh, I'm being so clumsy right now. I'm so hungry guys. So I got this fragrance this um, Chanel limited edition fragrance that was so cute It also looks like my Chanel hand cream So 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 pretty Look, oh, I hope you guys can see this is so beautiful. What? And guys it smells so good, but they added some sample perfumes to it for me and oh my god please sir. That perfume smells so good, but it's like, it's for men, but I like it. This perfume, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't smell terrible, but it's not my vibe. But I feel like if I mix it with like a very sweet fragrance, it's gonna hit so badly. Yes, this, I think this is the receipt. And I think the perfume, the fragrance was, hold on. I think it was $145. And the, I bought the under eye patches also here. was shipped in this box. I got it for also $145. They gave me like free perfume samples, fragrance samples. And guys, I want this so badly. And they added this Chanel Hydra Beauty Micro Serum something, something. Four, five, six, seven eight nine ten so it's ten i've already opened one because i was wearing it and the eye revitalizer i think it's a serum so you roll it around your eyes and you put your mask okay, so guys that's all Ugh. Charlie, my, what's going like my back fucking hurts Charlie. so guys it's time to go eat breakfast see you see why i don't like straight hair straight hair just makes me look so grown like grown woman and like bro it's 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 snitching on my full jawline you know but kelly here when it's big like that like nobody can see shit yeah <laughs> hey, we need to call the washing lady Hold on. we need to call the washing lady right right now let's call her right right now mm. i think her name is madam ivy all right, let me call. 
Yeah. Jo. I hope it's her number. So, yeah, fuck, guys, my back it hurts. You know what? I just realized it's two receipts, <laughs> two receipts for the Chanel stuff. I think this is $155, which the bottle, the fragrance, the fragrance is $155, and the under eye is $145. But then, like with taxes, I think it amounted to like $151, and then this $162. I hope this under eye mask thing does something for me though because it's not for decoration. So initially, right, I wanted to eat bread with um, avocado and I just wanted to do like avocado toast with coffee and all that, right? But I'm so hungry and I don't have time for that. Maybe I'll eat again, like later in the evening. Like, I got turkey tail. So yeah, we're gonna start cooking less talking and then when i finish eating because i need to eat first before i soak this stuff because i'm really 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 hungry like i can't stand for a single second guys i freaking hate street day like i'm what the fuck yeah my shirts are like this or leave me alone because what the fuck is this like in the middle it's either you drop very low or you go very high why is why are you like what's this awkwardness damn okay let me bring it down it's not look as bad no that looks weird so unnatural <laughs> on an e kinky you know you know my body hates carbohydrates but please let's like let's get it together i don't give a fuck like let me just eat and suffer later so we are keeping this thing or what do you guys think you guys think it's making the place look tacky so i should take it off or you think i should keep it everyone is like i should keep it but i don't know i don't know so yes guys we're about to make our turkey tail guys working with turkey tail is literally so disgusting like i i literally can't it's literally so disgusting. I can't, I can't, I can't. Like I'm almost feeling like I don't want to touch it. Yeah. my pepe here my avocado and 
my turkey tail okay so don't judge me i cut the kinky out because i like eating with fork i don't really like eating with my hands it, it doesn't feel good so yeah i'm about to enjoy my food and after that we will soak the stuff i have to edit some parts of this video i don't think this video will be up to an hour but however it goes i'm going to post it okay next week we are going to do better next week i'm going to start the vlog very very you know early so that we can get like more content this weekend my siblings are going to come this sunday i think tomorrow after posting i have to go and see my baby girl you guys don't know her her name is abigail she's like my sweetheart <laughs> yeah my drink is kind of cold though but i think i'm going to microwave it a little bit i've had the thank you for a minute like since morning it tastes nasty it's i don't know can you please microwave my food for me Please for like for like 30 seconds or like 45 seconds. Hey Charlie, this shirt is really old lady. Chopsticks. Guys. So let me give you another rundown of what happened, okay? So after I went to microwave the kinky and it came out, like the food left me for like two seconds and it came back to me. And now like I didn't want it anymore because suddenly the trophy was so disgusting to me. The um kinky was so dry i don't know like it's something about this trophy it was my first time frying trophy honestly and i feel like it's food that's supposed to be it's meant for you to eat outside buy like a whole pack eat like three out of it and throw it away like it's not food that you're supposed to bring home to actually make for yourself i don't know if you get what i'm saying so it's like i was kidding myself for real and the rest that i have in the fridge i'm gonna dash it because i'm not gonna cook it again i probably only eat it out but it's i was literally disgusted so guys i've not eaten like the only time i ate the kinky was the time you guys saw me eat it so yeah <laughs> i'm actually really going to do this thing i'm actually going to make the avocado toast okay but for now we need to go soak our stuff but guys i've thought about this thing it doesn't even make sense to me right because my stuff i just realized that do you remember when i was unloading my laundry basket right i put so many of my clothes inside the washing machine so now the washing machine is full my laundry basket is full if i'm to take the white stuff out and soak and i have like extra clothes where will i put them my place will just be cluttered and i just realized that i even had washing powder i had i have tied there and i went to buy an extra washing powder i have bleach there and i went to buy extra bleach like my this thing my laundry i have a cabinet that i keep like my soaps and like my extras and stuff inside i've i didn't even check before going to buy this stuff like i'm so silly so i don't know if we are still gonna do that i feel like we should postpone it to like next week maybe when the when i have the woman when i know that she's coming tomorrow because i've still not been able to reach her job so yeah but sometimes she comes around though like, i'm going to check with her like she comes to clean for like the other tenants and things so like i'll see if like she comes to um the apartment like in one of these days jibab so that yeah like i'll talk to her i sometimes see her and i'll be like oh madam ivy i'll see you i'll see you soon or like i'm gonna call you soon da, 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 da. so i'm gonna see her like one of these days yeah yeah this is the washing powder that i went to buy i have tied chips so cute uh-huh okay lawrence chips Crunch of salted. You're tasteless. I have the remainder of the Doritos that I took yesterday. Yeah, but I want to try something different. I'm tired of eating the Doritos. So I think we are going to postpone the white stuff, the best eating things. Why don't I just take my stuff to the laundry? Though? Like, because the washing lady, too, you know, she, she folds for me and that's all that. Yeah. And I give her, like, a very, very good compensation guys i like eating my chips with chopsticks because it doesn't the spices on the chips don't get on my hands guys this shit literally makes me feel and look like an old lady it's 10 15 okay 10 15 so after i make the food i want to do a clay mask today like it's been long since i did like a mask on my face so like a mask and yeah i'm gonna bid you guys goodbye and i'm gonna see you guys next week because this week there isn't much to do so i can't even force it to be like an ad
hold me like that To everybody else it will just hold me back But I love when we make up like that And you love it when I make you mad But maybe we just love like that Yeah, maybe we just love like that Sometimes I don't want you around You do something to make me smile and It's hard for me to try to stop this feeling I think I've reached the point where I feel heavy all over again. I think I've gained weight. Oh my god. I'm so scared to step on the scale. Honestly, I've not checked my weight in a really, really long time because I know I've been eating, but like I've been feeling so guilty lately. But yeah, here I am at 10 p.m. coming to eat avocado toast and coffee oh my god this shit's making me feel like an old lady but yeah like i'm so scared charlie and i've run out of green tea i've not drunk green tea in over like a week i feel heavy i don't know i watched my first vlog and i realized how slim my face was then and now it's like my face is swollen all over again it's like i've been taking too much cabo like too much and i've been making excuses upon excuses bro like i need to change my ways i seriously need to change my ways otherwise i'm literally gonna gain so much weight i'm gonna go back to square one because it looks like i'm already on my way i think i need to stop eating bad on weekends but guys i just can't help it you know, I think I'm going to do just once a week because I think that three times a week is not doing any good job. Yeah, and I feel like also the alcohol that I drank like last two weeks and things have completely not faded away. So like I still have some sugars and things in my, my system. Like they've not completely gone down. Like I feel like I'm still in my big era. Like I need to. Guys, I want to be like 65 kg for real. Like because I'm a tall girl, right? I'm not like I'm a tall, tall girl. I mean, like middle for real. But like, I feel like I'm slightly above average height for like a Ghana girl. When I gain weight, it really affects me. And me, when I gain weight, it doesn't go to the good places. It goes to my stomach. Okay, my stomach. It doesn't go to my ass. It goes to my stomach. My stomach and my arms. guys so this is detox mask okay this is um a green tea like kind of like a clay mask but i don't think it's clay is it is it is it's just but it has that vibe i'm sure it will dry clayish <laughs> yeah so i'm about to apply that onto my face with this applicator It smells so medicinal guys i think i've been lying to myself too much lately like i said when i was eating like i've been lying to myself too much acting like um like but i stopped working out i stopped doing so many things that were helping me my green tea has been done just going to the websites where i usually buy from their websites and just ordering it you know i'm feeling so lazy like what has come over me what has come and it's like nowadays i'm so exhausted like because i still working out too and i've been eating barley my metabolism is fucked you know that vibe my metabolism is so fucked like 
this is not the 2024 girl I said I was gonna be for real my birthday too comes in October so yeah I need to get back on my shirt but I don't think this year I'm gonna do anything for my bed I'm just gonna stay at home for real I don't know I don't know my mind can change don't don't remind me when it's my birthday <laughs> don't remind me that I said that when it's my birthday whenever I get notifications on my phone I know it's from snapchat because apart from snapchat even snapchat sometimes is off like my social media notifications are mostly off like I barely check anything anywhere but like maybe when I'm a little toast like maybe when I'm a little tipsy like when I take alcohol I think sometimes especially when I've posted freshly that one day I may like read some of the comments but sometimes some of the comments are so mean like I'm so scared to go to the comment section like I barely read comments like barely barely for real barely because I'm scared of you guys sometimes you know but sometimes so I do read the comments and respond especially when I'm like in the app and I'm seeing that the replies are like so nice and things I'll just like respond but when I see that folks are being mean like, oh my bad Today is just one of those days that I guess we're gonna skip replying comments. <laughs> okay, now I look like a clown. Let's establish that. So, if I'm calling myself a clown, you don't get to call me a clown. Period. Guys, you know what time it is right now? 11. Hmm. 11. Almost 12. I know that media my Fridays, but you know what I need to do? I need to do it like how I used to do it so that on Fridays, like I can have a good night's sleep because you know, you see, it's so hard for me to do it that way because I know that my vlogs, even my Friday clips are added to the vlog for Saturday, Jibab, because I don't want to add a Friday clip to like the next week, next week's vlog, you get. So like, I have to, you know, compile all the clips and then edit it in edit it at one go like the piece 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 you know? I don't know it makes me feel lazy seriously when I have all of it and I'm just cutting 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 and adding my templates and like guys it takes so long bro like when I'm editing overnight like that thing it's basically two days work and I'm pushing it into five hours trying to edit or like six or eight hours that is crazy like so it's like rush rushed edits you know so basically it's like i could do better if i was taking my time you know that kind of vibe i'm supposed to go and see my baby girl tomorrow but tomorrow is so packed that uh baby girl that i was talking about earlier you guys don't know her so like i don't want to keep mentioning her name, her name is abigail she's like my sweetheart for real i've known her since i was like a kid 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 like what like eight years <laughs> or like what yeah i've been saying that i'll come and see her with my mouth so like i will literally be thinking about it in the middle of the night and i'll wake up and i'll be like <gasps> what i need to go and see abigail i want to like get my laundry cleaned i feel like the laundry day i feel like i won't be able to show you guys in the vlog i actually need my stuff clean because my siblings are coming like i need clothes for myself and things and my little sister diamond she's like stay around when we come we go out go out boy girl you guys don't even go out you want to go out i said go and sit down <laughs> Go and sit down. Who is taking you out now? I'm a cool sister. Don't get me wrong. But like, a girl, I'm not about to go and babysit you. Because, I mean, I could let them go alone. But, I don't. 
my little brother still asked me the same question. So you, you see what they did. This one asked me differently, separately. So they asked me at different times, thinking I would say yes to one and maybe no to one. Like, am I 13? Am I 12? Am I 11? Do you guys think I'm your age mate? See them? You know the things I did when I was a kid? You know the, <laughs> the cycle I played when I was a kid? Do you think? I don't know all these tactics. For real. <sighs> okay, now this burns. I wonder how long I'm supposed to leave it on my face for though. So that was Abigail. I was talking to Abigail Key. <laughs> Guys. So, yeah, this is the end of the vlog. I'm gonna wash this off camera. And I love you guys so much. I hope as you're home, you're doing something. Like, you're not just lying in bed like me lately. I feel like we all don't see how much potential we have. Like, I feel like if somebody was us, somebody looks at you and it's like, yo, like, I really want to be like you. Like, but because you are with yourself every single day, you really don't see how much potential you have. You really don't see how, like, bro, like, do you know who you fucking are, bro? Like, so ridiculous talking like this. But guys, hear me out. Like if it's a school you want to pursue, if it's education, do it. If that's where you are so strong, if that's where your stronghold is, I want you to take it seriously, seriously. And whenever you don't know what to do in life, go to school. Never stop learning. Like never stop school. School is so important. Like I feel like when you are grown, grown, grown. Me, I'm not grown, grown, grown. Like I don't, I'm not there yet to even know if it's that. But I feel like it's one thing you will never regret. It's like you will never regret going to school. Do you understand? Like, you, me, I'm going to school for shaggy reasons. It's not like I want to become MD of something, something. Trust me, it's not one of my dreams. Like, I don't like 9 to 5. I don't want to work for anyone. Like, I don't. Do you understand? But it's just to say that I'm educated as fuck. Like, so that my voice matters. Like, do you understand? So that my voice will matter. Go to school at, alongside, like, doing, if you, if you can afford it, seriously, like, go to they reach the highest level of education how far can you go how far can you take yourself in education like just go reach the highest peak if if you know if even see bro like i feel like you don't need the biggest brain to go to school for real like you just need to be smart you get like like whatever you want to do honestly because if you try and you fail and nobody's watching at the end of the day you've tried and you keep trying like Keep trying the same thing for a long time and see how it goes. If that's if it does not so, then you know that oh, this is not for you. So yeah, guys, I love you so much, and I'm gonna see you next week Saturday. I love you so much. Bye, guys. <laughs>